Let's talk about the electrocardiogram. The electrocardiogram, or ECG, is essentially a reflection of the heart's electrical activity recorded from the skin. So electrodes are placed upon the skin, and the electrical activity of the heart is recorded in a particular pattern, and that particular pattern is used to determine the rhythm of the heart, the rate of the heart, and then the electrical activity of the muscle itself. So certain patterns can be used to determine whether or not the patient has ischemia, whether or not the patient has an arrhythmia, or whether or not the patient has any electrical activity at all. Let's talk briefly about the structure of the cardiogram. If you look at the electrocardiogram paper, and down here is a schematic. Every small single box represents 0.1 millivolts, so their voltage on this axis, and time. And the time is 0 0.004 seconds for every small box. We look at these particular boxes in chunks of five, and if you have five small boxes, we have 0.2 seconds. So just to give you an orientation of the actual small boxes on the ECG paper and what they actually mean. If we look at the actual uh, electrocardiogram tracing, we see a particular pattern. And I have drawn this out so it's a little bit rough, but suffice to say, again, we are measuring time on this axis and voltage on this axis. The structure of the tracing has very specific parts. This is the P, this is the QRS complex, this is the ST wave, this is the T, this is the U wave, here is the RR interval, the PR interval, the QRS interval is here, and the QT interval. So what do these waves and intervals mean? Well, the P wave is the activation or depolarization of the right and left atria. And this happens sequentially. The QRS complex is right and left depolarization occurring normally simultaneously. The STT wave is ventricular repolarization. The U wave probably represents some sort of a ventricular activity such as an after polarization or after depolarization. It doesn't matter. The PR interval here to here is the time between the onset of atrial depolarization, the P wave, to the onset of the QRS, which is, of course, ventricular depolarization. The QRS duration, here to here, from here to here, is the duration of the depolarization of the ventricular muscle itself. The QT interval is the time of ventricular depolarization and repolarization, and the RR interval is the time of the cardiac cycle, so the ventricular cardiac cycle. And this RR interval is the heart rate. The duration between P waves is considered the atrial cycle. There are several important things that we can determine just simply based on the tracing. The heart rate is the RR interval. We can determine the PR interval. We can determine the QRS duration. We can determine the QT interval. And we can also determine the QRS axis. And the QRS axis we will talk about in a future video.
but the QRS access depends on more than one lead tracing.